Answer me. Aline, are you okay? How could I be okay? At the moment, I've got no... Listen, I want... Look, don't pat... On the roof of some... I landed in some wood... See you? Oh. Okay, I... How long will that take? I don't know. As little time as I can. What? Oh. Hurry. Oh my god! No, no, don't... Leave me... Who did... This island... How did you get here? The... Look, just... Tr <laughs> Run... I'll be back. Aline? It's awful. Come and get me, I'm begging. Aline! Aline! Shit. Carnby? Carnby, answer me. Aline, I thought you were dead. I did too. 
I'm not cut out for this kind of place. I want this to stop right now. I understand. You understand? You understand? You don't understand anything. I don't know what you, Johnson, or Professor Morton want of me, but I'm asking for this nightmare to stop right now. Aline, get a grip on yourself. Where are you? In some room. But I can't get to you. One of the doors is locked, and I can crack the other one, but there's some heavy object blocking it. When I think it's Obed Morton who locked me in here, and I wanted to help him. Don't move. I'll come free you. Is that the best you can do? Yes, that's the best I can do. Well, okay then. Hurry up. Aline, any more news? I'm here waiting for you. What are you doing? I can't find the room in which you say you're locked up. It can't be that tough. I'm upstairs. There's a staircase in the lobby. Okay, I'll head over there. Thanks. Hurry up. The door? I think it's just a chest of drawers. Well, then push it aside. At last, I want you to tell me what's going on. I don't know yet, but I do love your new outfit. Makes you look less, uh, you know... Yes, I know. <laughs> here, I got your stuff. Thanks. What about my jacket? Whoever locked you up in here probably thought it matched his hair. Listen, I should never have agreed to let you come along. I have my own reasons for being here. Were you able to talk with Obed Morton? No, were you? I'm not so sure. I have this feeling that there's more than one Obed Morton. It's way too dangerous. We have to find a safe place for you where you can hide and wait for me. Listen, Carnby. You know as well as I do that the safest place is at least two hours away by plane. I haven't done too bad up till now, and I sure don't intend to spend whatever time I have left doing nothing. I want to know. Just before, I heard this voice above us. There's a trap door. If you help me, I can reach it. But why not stick together? You and I don't have the same goals. Remember what you told me in the plane. Come on, give me a hand. What if I were to say no? You're not the type to say no. I have always wondered about the circle of stones located in the moors. When I would ask Edenshaw about it, he always remained very vague. I now think it's some kind of ritual calendar used to determine various astronomical events. I have started building a planetarium that will be used in conjunction with the circle of stones. All this seems linked to the gate, to the opening of the gate, and to the ritual of the seven statues. Edenshaw was very surprised. It seems he had not thought them related. I therefore talked him into performing the ritual of his ancestors. I know his weakness and how to use it. He wanted to convince me of his powers as a witch doctor. Even he acted out of pride. I recorded him while he spoke the sacred words of his tribe. He was standing before one of the steels, and the direction in which he pronounced the incantation seemed an important part of the ritual. But nothing happened. The time has not yet come, is what he said, justifying himself.
I know who you are and what you have come looking for. I was expecting you. Just stay where you are. Don't move an inch. Who are you? They call me Edenshaw. I am the guardian of this island. The guardian? Guardian of what? And what are all these monsters? What the heck's going on here? Professor Morton has definitely crossed the threshold. Look, can't you spell it out? What is this mess? My weakness is to blame. I let children play with powers way beyond their grasp. But the legends were not wrong. You have come to us. My own- This is all Greek to- It will become- Wait, wait. I do not know who- Charles? I still do not- Okay, that- you in the attic I went through there I saw that there's some sort of trap door on the floor you'll see it when you walk on it it has a hollow sound I met Edenshaw the old Indian he told me he was the last witch doctor he says he can do something that will stop all this madness do you think we can trust him I met him too he seemed to know a lot more than he said but I don't think we have much of a choice anyhow he needs seven statues to carry out some sort of ritual. Well, why doesn't he go looking for them? Can't we help him? Sure. What do these statues look like? I don't really know. They depict some kind of animals, I think. Oh, well, that narrows it down. Carnby, I'm... I know, I know. And where is... I don't know yet. We'll get to that later.
Aline? Carnby? Yes, I think I located Orbit Morton's office. I've been looking for it for the past half hour. It's on the ground floor. I'll check it out and call you if I find anything. 